So guys, welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at uh, workspace um, and in specific the enhanced raw format. Let's kick off. You here you have the the working area of workspace, and uh, on the left you see my my own files, and this is the way that I organize my own images. So I normally put the date here and what, which camera I used, and then. So in this directory I would have my, my JPEG files and then I would have a separate uh, folder for the raw files. For this particular video I created this one here and I added both the JPEG and the raw version of this image that we're going to have a look at. Um, so let's put the file structure away. So having the screen in front of us something interesting about workspace is um, now at the moment if you follow my cursor we are looking at the JPEG file you can also see here we're looking at the JPEG file and uh, the editing panel on this side here is, is, is a basic editing panel that you can use uh, you can now go and apply an art filter for example on on, on the image. So you can do basic editing here which is very similar to what the raw editing process will look like. On the top I configured my uh, workspace to, to give me XF data here and the reason I do that is um, when I go to, to the raw uh, file I like to know which settings I used in the camera. So for example have I used the color creator or color profiles or monochrome profiles or, or any thing specific like an art filter that I can see when I come over here to the XF data. Now for example the first place I would look is the picture mode and in this case I used I enhanced and the standard format. I also see I used um, manual mode in for the camera here so if you go over here, you can see I used manual mode and I had my 17mm on 1.8. Um, and I would have seen the color creator also here in picture mode, for example, the same for monochrome or um, color profiles. I would have seen it here. So now that I have some idea of what I've done with the image at the time and time that I took the image, I can now go over to the raw file. So nice about workspace, if you if you dump all your files in the same directory like I did with this example now, you can go to this button here on the left. So we have the JPEG, we see the JPEG. If I click the button. I immediately jump over to the raw file. And you can see, you know, so the JPEG was on a 3-2 ratio because that was what the camera was set for. And the raw file is still in the four-thirds format. And this is important. What, what we see here now on the screen is the raw data coming off the sensor. Nothing has been done to this data that you now see on the screen. And this is part of the enhanced format, format from, from Olympus, which makes it so, so interesting, is I really see the raw data from the sensor here. Now, the simple reason why I can say that is all my settings are here in the editing panel. That means it, it includes the camera settings. So, for example, if you want to go to picture mode, which we saw, was um, the eye enhance you see it here so now you see the camera was set for eye enhance and the standard um, setting if i click it if i select it then i meet it means i activate that setting on my display so now i see part of the jpeg file on my display now one of the the nice things about workspace is you can select the speed with which the screen will update. Now for example this button here, follow my cursor, when it's selected I get a less detailed but a quicker update. If I deselect it 
I then have the option of a more detailed look, but it obviously takes longer. So while editing, I will always keep it on. So let's uh, go to more settings. So here we can select the exposure. Now obviously there's no exposure compensation in manual mode. So I don't really have to select it. But I can go and I can select the white balance that the camera used at that point in time. Okay. So the camera was obviously set on auto white balance. As you can see here. And it's now activated, which means two parts of the JPEG image is now activated. I can have a quick look. I haven't used any of these uh, hi highlight uh, shadow functions. The gradation is normal. Um, I never use saturation, contrast or sharpness in the camera. Uh, we can one day talk about it. These are the worst settings you can do in your camera. Please don't adjust them. Then here you see the noise filter of the camera, and as you can see, I use the low option. Now, you know, obviously in a good day daylight situation like I've been here, I don't need I don't need the standard or even the high option. I could go without a noise filter. So what we have here, the noise filter is not selected. Let's have a quick look, and you can see. So here you see the image. Um, in the in the hundred percent view, with no noise filter. So even without any noise filter, you can see that um, that the image is very clean. And if I now select the noise filter, so I, I'm now selecting the camera setting. And there I do it. Now the the screen will update. It will it will now apply the noise filter. So it's only applying the noise filter now. At the moment I selected and this is exactly what the enhanced raw format is all about there's no other raw in uh, processor that can select the exact camera settings like you've used in your camera while you're editing the raw file so so the simple process is you start up you go and look at the JPEG file, you look at the EXIF data, you go into the RAW file by selecting on the left. You can investigate, you know, you can have a, a look at your at your RAW data and then you can go through and select all the camera settings like we did here now or do like we're doing here now. Uh, like uh, the color space, I used RGB, I always use RGB, so now RGB is selected, it's now synchronizing you can say with my iMac because my iMac is also an RGB, so the colors are really accurate. And then what I basically see here is the same live view image because I now selected all my um, uh, camera settings on the right, on, on, on the editing panel here. I basically now see the same live view image as what I had on my camera screen or display. Okay. Now that you have your your camera settings selected and you see the real image as in the camera, I can now export this image. For example, I can go here to File and Export. And I can basically export the same JPEG file as, as the JPEG file here in the same directory because I'm working with the same image processor between workspace or the camera. But in addition, you can now go and say, okay, now we can sit back and we can, we can fine-tune this image a little. And I'm using the words fine-tune because Workspace is not a recovery service. It's not something you you select to cover up. I don't know what to what word to use, but it's not workspace is not a, a software to go and recover poor photography. So you will also see in the article with this video I'm I'm describing the the joy of really doing photography and then when you come back with good results and you want to fine-tune your your results then workspace is an awesome package because you have this unique 
access to the raw data or the enhanced raw data coming off the Olympus camera, you can fine tune this and then you can send it off to Photoshop or whatever software you, you use to really edit your software. But the basic stuff is happening here in workspace in an enhanced environment. I, I, I really wish you guys can can see that because the more you work with this concept in your mind, the more powerful the software becomes and the more joyful the software uh, becomes a part of your photography process. So for example, we could say, um, yeah, the picture mode at I enhance uh, for a general um, photography is quite good, but I, I really want to take this image here. I want to go to the color creator and uh, and I want to see you know what is possible in terms of the color creator now yeah you can see we have red we have red in the in the uh, leaves here so if I want to do something with a red I would typically select a opposite color so yeah I have red I would then go to to the opposite and select uh, a color on the color wheel and there immediately you can see um, the impact. Now you can see on the red, for, for example, if you want to see what which red are we talking about, then it's a good idea to move your cursor across um, the colors here. Now okay, to do that, you need to go to the color, um, adjust color here. You need to look at the color wheel here. And now you can see the colors that you're working on. So here you can see it wasn't really red. It was moving closer to magenta. This one here. If I look at these here, there we're looking at red. There we're looking at red. But let's, let's go back and do the opposite of this one here. And let's see what the impact is on, on the image. Now, immediately now you can see if I if I add more green I will reduce the rate if I reduce the green I will increase the rate and now you can see I've done it so here you have an effect you can always go to the red itself and increase the rates that should then change the greens which is the opposite there you have it yeah now you can decide, you know, whether you want this. If I reduce that a little, it should also change the greens here. And the noise you hear is my little dog playing in the background. Um, only an example. So this is a typical example that you would do. I, I would even say you could go back to uh, natural here. And say so let's let's have a look what a what an art filter would look like on this particular image, and uh, you could go to the new art filter, the instant form for the EP7, and there you have it. So now, and you know what is nice with the EP7, you have this uh, slider now even in the camera where you can uh, adjust the effect of the art filter. It's really nice. This is really something awesome that uh, I think OMDS or Olympus, I don't know which one of the two did it, but I think it's great. And then you can do a crop, you know, so if I select the crop, this is the crop that I had, you know, so this is how I framed the image. So I can decide to, uh, to crop it a little further and to do something like this. Uh, the moment I go back here, then I see the full crop. So this, this is then the final image. So again, just to summarize, we, we used the panel, the editing panel here, to see which camera settings I used in the camera. In other words, I now, I, by selecting the camera settings, I activated live view, per se. And then I made a decision would I like to change some of the settings and some of the style of the image I want in typical Olympus style because everything I did here is still Olympus well, you know one last setting that that one could do 
what, that was also in the camera, we can add a, a, a contrast curve add a little more contrast by doing a S curve here you can see the S curve and 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 I will then basically have my final image so again I, we selected our camera settings we activated the live view we did some changes now I can go to export I can export the image here's my window I can select you know 16 bit the file if you if you want to work with more color uh, or you can you can uh, send it directly to Photoshop. Uh, I've connected Photoshop with this button here, and off you go, and you can uh, complete the image in in Photoshop. Then, so okay, guys, I hope this helped you, and uh, thank you for looking.